Here's what's making news now around Indiana, brought to you by your Indiana Pacers. Well, Naval Support Activity Crane is planning to add to its already large workforce in 2019. The Naval installation has released hiring plans for the next fisc uh, fiscal year that includes adding more than 400 jobs between its two largest commands. The Terre Haute Chamber of Commerce is making a push to capitalize on defense industry opportunities in that region. The organization has launched the West Central Indiana Defense Network, a task force that will focus on talent attraction and economic development for defense and related sectors throughout the Wabash Valley. And Valparaiso University says it will shut down its nearly 140-year-old law school. That decision comes after multiple attempts to find a viable alternative, including a collaboration with Tennessee State University that did not materialize. Well, the largest independent real estate firm in Indiana has been in business now for 100 years. F.C. Tucker began as a residential real estate brokerage in 1918, added commercial real estate services in the 1950s. The company later sold the commercial division in 1998 to focus uh, really uh, in on residential. And today it operates and has some 1,500 agents statewide and more than $3.2 billion in sales. Owner and CEO Jim Litton has been with the organization for more than 45 years, and he's now uh, here now with a look back and also a look ahead. And Jim, as always, great to have you on the show. Thank you, Gary. It's a pleasure being with you. 100 years. I mean, the Tucker name uh, certainly in the real estate um, marketplace is iconic uh, in Indiana. And as you think back to those uh, and through those 100 years, uh, mm -hmm. residential real estate starting in, in 1918, got into commercial uh, real estate, so many things we could talk about. But as we were talking off camera, the Tucker family, the imprint Mm -hmm. that they've had on downtown Indianapolis and that remake uh, of Indianapolis is substantial. Absolutely. You know, uh, Bud Tucker was the founder's son, and Bud joined the firm in 1957 with three partners, uh, Joe Bowman, John Wallace, and Bob Houck. Those four gentlemen had the vision of, of, of an, a, a different Indianapolis, mm -hmm. and uh, they formed um, coalitions with people. Like, for example, when uh, the first hotel to be built in Indianapolis in a long, long time was when the Hilton was opened on the Circle in 1969. Mm -hmm. uh, Bud and his partners were instrumental in putting the ground deal together with where the Regions Bank building sits now. Um, Bud and his partners and a group of outside investors bu helped build the old Market Square wow. Arena. And uh, so they were involved. They, they just, they really cared about the community. Yeah. And, and as you look at the marketplace and in the 45 years uh, that you've been with the company, and as you look at residential real estate, what's been the biggest change? There's oh, been a lot of change, oh but what's been the biggest change? Well, you know, I, I think, number one, the consumer expectations changed because the consumer has so much more information now uh, that that they come to us and, and sort of try to, navigate the process when really we should be the trusted advisor doing that. Uh, and it used to be, and, and part of that reason is with the internet and everything, yeah. and there's so much being on television about housing anymore. Mm -hmm. So people are so much more educated. Mm -hmm. And the, the tech, as you said, technology is driving oh, so much. It, it really is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, let's talk about the current market. Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. Getting a lot of attention. Uh, what do you see happening oh. in Indianapolis and statewide? And then we'll also look ahead maybe to next year. Well, I, I tell you, you know, in my career, I, I've not seen anything like what we've experienced this last two years. Mm -hmm. and, and certainly a lot of that was brought on by the, 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 the recession. Mm -hmm. And after the recession, there were so many people that were, had been on the sidelines that they all came off the bench, yeah. started buying homes, so it drove the inventory down. Uh, the, the central Indiana market right now is on track for another record year. Mm -hmm. Last year was the biggest year they ever had. Mm -hmm. This year will be even bigger. Mm -hmm. And projections for next year uh, is that it, it could even be 3% better. Mm -hmm. uh, there's, there's three measurements that I look at to predict the market. First one is interest rates. Um, interest rates last year were in the high threes, and this year they're going to be approaching this coming year probably high fours, mm -hmm. low fives. The next thing is unemployment, mm -hmm. and unemployment is 3.7%, mm -hmm. and last is consumer confidence. So it's like three legs on a stool. Yeah. Yeah. And, and all three of those are positive. In so. a positive direction. So the future is looking bright. Oh, yes. So bright we need to wear shades. There you go. Jim Letton, the CEO at uh, FC Tucker Company, celebrating 100 years. Uh, Jim, it's always great to see you. We'll talk to you soon. Thank you, Gary. All right.